One prison in Oregon is putting inmates to work in a unique way, and it's helping them return to society for good. Alexa Liako takes us to the prison with one of the lowest recidivism rates in the state. 11 years. 10 years. 72 months. These men are serving a sentence. We're all in here for different reasons. For a moment that's changed a lifetime. Manslaughter, man one, unauthorized use of a firearm. A drunk driving accident killed one of my really good friends, so, so I've been paying for that for the last 15 years. Some moments still too painful to talk about. I'd rather not, I'd rather not discuss that. Um, I, it, it, was, it was just a terrible circumstance. But all their paths led here to the South Fork Forest Camp in Oregon. <laughs> you won't see barbed wire. There is no fence. It's a special prison facility partnered with Oregon's Department of Forestry, a facility filled with men fighting for a second chance. Not everybody that comes to prison is a bad person. People make mistakes. Don't judge people on a particular time in their life, judge them on their whole life. Places like this really do help people get back on the right track. Men who have less than four years left to serve can come here to get job training, all while serving the local community. The training comes in many forms. The coast crew, cry me up. Every morning before sunrise, the inmates trained in firefighting head out into the community to protect families' homes. This summer, wildland fire crews have relied heavily on inmate crews for help. I like going out there helping our community. We're human beings. We're all we're trying to do the right thing. But not everyone is on the fire line. Some inmates focus on the tree line, learning forest management. Others are in the shop learning carpentry and mechanic work. And many work in the camp hatchery. Last year, we raised approximately 110,000 fish. For Aaron Gilbert, the chance to step outside his cell was the beginning of a new chapter. I've been in a maximum security prison for the last 13 years, so I just came out here about a year ago. I remember when I got off the bus here, and my eyes, it was hard for him to adjust. It was so green. Gilbert is working each day for just a few dollars towards a future he can now see clearly. I've been able to pay back some of my uh, debts to society here. And so I just, I want to get out and live, live a simple life and, and do the right thing and be a productive member of society. That's, and that's something this place will really teach you. And on top of getting hands-on job training in skills they can use as soon as they get out of prison, this camp found that their recidivism rate is much lower than other correctional facilities in the state. When we put someone through our work program and they return back to society, that they're not going to re-enter this system. They're going to have the skills, the knowledge, the abilities, and just the working capacity uh, to continue to be a productive member of society. The Oregon Department of Corrections says every inmate costs taxpayers an average of $40,000 per year. So South Fork is helping save the community money by keeping people from reoffending, and it's creating a well-trained workforce with a pipeline to possible jobs. All these guys that are here are going to get out and they're gonna be our neighbors. You know, and so that we want them, you know, to be successful. These men know success starts with redemption, and now they're equipped to chase it. A lot of people will say the prison system breaks you down. This place helps build you up. For The Race, I'm Alexa Liako. Thanks for joining us this week for our conversation about the economy. Join us next week as we talk about voting the process, your rights, and the things that will make this election day historic. Until then, from Lincoln, Nebraska, I'm Chris Stewart, and this is The Race.